Hey guys, and welcome to today's video, where we'll be counting down our top picks for female leads in video games. No one can bring passionate justice fueled with fury and determination like a woman can. And these female leads have proven so, with their memorable roles in what we consider our favorite video games of all time. So, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and without any further ado, let's get right into today's video. At number 10, Perfect Dark. Joanna Dark is a memorable character from the early 2000 generations console video games where spy video games were a big hit. Joanna Dark starts off as a spy who is supposed to infiltrate a skyscraper to gather some information. She had been training since the age of seven, and when the Carrington Agency took notice of her skills, she became a part of their program. It didn't take long for Joanna to become codenamed Perfect Dark, a stealthy spy who is skilled in high-class espionage operations and is an excellent marksman. She is also skilled in close quarters combat and can execute silent takedowns with ease, so if you decide to get in her way, don't say we didn't warn ya. Next, Bayonetta. Bayonetta, whose real name is Cereza, is an Umbra witch that uses her special art known as the Bullet Style. She was a proud Umbra witch despite being considered a black sheep of the clan and made sure to integrate her sex appeal with her demon-slaying style. She is shown to have a nonchalant and callous attitude, seems to enjoy killing angels in a playful yet brutal manner, and even goes as far as to engage in banter and antagonize the higher angels and the infernal demons. Bayonetta is truly independent in her art as she decides to operate alone initially, but doesn't turn away some well-needed help along the way. She really integrates some sexual lingo and innuendos when it comes to conversing with friends like Luca or enemies. Up next, the Portal series. While nothing's exactly told about the mute protagonist from the Portal series, we definitely had to dig through all the clues throughout the game to make sense of Shell's character. Shell is a mute but dangerous protagonist that was considered unfit to be a test subject due to her stubborn yet determined attitude to problem solving, but she was later accepted as a test subject because she was the only person that could defeat GLaDOS. Shell was the daughter of one of the scientists at Aperture Labs and was introduced into the facility as part of a Bring Your Daughter to Work Day. We can also see a giant potato science experiment that was made by her in the game. Through Portal 1 and 2, she made sure to outsmart both GLaDOS and Wheatley and made sure to escape to the surface as Portal 2 ended. Next, Mirror's Edge, Catalyst. Faith Connors is the protagonist from the Mirror's Edge series. She hasn't had a lot of conversation or story development, but as a standalone character, she's one of the best. Her unique style of clothing is pretty inspiring alone, with the tattoos on her face and arms. She traverses using parkour at top speeds through the dystopian city, trying to carry out messenger missions for various characters throughout the game. She has infiltrated high security buildings, ran out full police chases, and also knows how to wield a weapon while running, and she does this all the while needing no one's help. Next up, Resident Evil series. Now, when it comes to Jill from the Resident Evil series, there is no match for her. Jill was dropped into Raccoon City for espionage operations and had to deal with the tightest corridors housing many zombies, but using her quick wits and reflexes, she outmaneuvered all of them through the series. She is known for her combat skills, weapon handling, and agility, and is also known as a master of unlocking by Barry. If it couldn't get any worse, she had to deal with a monstrous behemoth by the name of Tyrant that terrorized her throughout the game, but she finally got around to killing him after incapacitating the beast many times, single-handedly. She's not only defeated the creature, but also held a great part in taking out the young Umbrella Corporation as well. Next on the list, Beyond Good and Evil. Jade from Beyond Good and Evil is a memorable character as fans have been waiting for a reboot to the franchise for years now. Jade has a cool attitude and personality and is a photographer all the while being a martial artist. She can definitely wield a sword and fight hordes of monsters and her reflexes and agility paired with her intellect make her excellent for solving problems. In her free time, Jade lives with her adoptive uncle in System 4 and owns a photojournalism company. She earns a living through photojournalism for various companies. She lives at the Lighthouse Shelter and works to take care of a few orphans and tries her best to protect them at all costs from all sorts of dangers. She is a brave and courageous woman who bears the motto of not giving up. At number four, we have The Walking Dead. Clementine is the protagonist of The Walking Dead video game series. Despite being young, she is pretty mature for her age and makes sure to stay calm and polite. When things go south between the group, Clementine makes sure to patch things up between them. She acts as the moral compass of the group and makes sure everyone stays on track and doesn't lose sight of their humanity, but things don't always go as planned as she loses some of her friends throughout the story. The development of Clementine is what intrigues us as she developed into a hearted and more mature character through the course of the game. She becomes a bit brash and forceful in trying to do whatever it takes to survive, but she still tries to keep her moral compass straight and tries to retain her own values and the values taught by Lee. As she grows into a mid-teen, she thinks that staying with the group won't bring any good and decides to become independent in her thinking and values. She possesses remarkable intelligence, wisdom, and maturity 
30 while being a little girl, which is what puts her on today's list. Next, Horizon Zero Dawn. Alloy is a seeker, and Nora brave and possesses remarkable machine hunting skills. Alloy is a genetic clone of Elizabeth Sobek, who was manufactured by Gaia for the sole purpose of defeating Hades, which is a rogue AI, which plans on wiping out life by activating the Faro Plague. She succeeds in saving the people of the Zero Dawn world. On her journey, she finds out the reasons as to why she exists and of the many mysteries surrounding her. Alloy grew up being very disobedient and curious about the old ruins, contrary to the teachings of her tribe. The people of her tribe consider technology a curse, but Alloy sees the true potential in technology and pursues to use it for many practical applications. She also has an independent mindset and can be skeptical of the things around her, which led her to realize the potential that technology holds for her and her people. At number two, we have Tomb Raider. Lara Croft has been considered to be gaming's most iconic and influential character to date. She gained massive popularity, making her debut in 1996 in Tomb Raider. Despite belonging to an aristocratic family, Lara expresses great disinterest into the higher classes of society and is more interested in delving into the uncovered and unexplained mysteries of the past that are believed to be just rumors or myths. She struggled to journey far and wide to find dangerous artifacts on her expeditions and to find pieces that no person has set foot in for centuries. She has always been in a race against time and trying to find artifacts before the opposition does for their nefarious reasons. Her iconic outfit with tank tops and combat boots has now become a recurring theme in many movies now after Tomb Raider was released. And at number one, Metroid. Samus Aran from the Metroid series is famously known to be a bounty hunter. After she lost her parents during a space raid, she was adopted by Chozo, who infused her with their DNA to make her the ultimate warrior. When Samus debuted back in 1986, players believed her to be a male and the character book also suggested it, but five hours into the game, you realize he is a she. Samus is a sad load hero that doesn't like to take a lot of orders, but accepts them from those that she respects. Despite her past, she possesses hardened willpower and resourcefulness. She is also known for the compassion she possesses when it comes to those that can't help themselves. Samus was willing to sacrifice herself when it came to the body snatching ex parasites and also volunteered to save the Luminoth race from their impending doom and destruction. Samus also bonded with a Metroid that was born right in front of her, but she decided to spare it. Later in the game, it sacrifices itself for Samus, which leaves her heartbroken and emotionally scarred. Throughout the series, Samus goes through ups and downs, but comes out as strong and strong willed and becomes quite introspective as well. And that's all for today's video. Which video game lead was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on for future videos, and we hope to see you again soon, so see you later.